Um, okay, can I start by saying hello, my name is Superbrain, and today we're talking about Harmony 21. Oh yeah, you can introduce yourself as me. Hey everyone, my name is Superbrain, and today we're talking about Harmony 21! Spling! Good hello, I am an onion. <laughs> and we are going to talk about Harmony 21. Seamless. Yeah. Uncanny. Together today we are going to do many cool things, such as use the drawing tool. It's good to be here, I can't wait to see what is up with these new brushes. Did you use the brushes already? No, I use the brushes as often as I should. There's a lot of new features in the brushes, right? There are so many new features in the brushes, let me just show you. So if you go to the tool properties, there is a solid brush, a solid brush, and many solid brush, but there's also you new... Gotta, so you gotta slow down a bit here, this is blowing my mind a bit much. What? <laughs> Sorry, carry on. So there, like, if you leave the like boring old whatever brushes, we have some cool new brushes. First, there's a fixed width of one, which is great if you're if you want to draw like anime stuff because it's a very very thin line. Just see. Mm. Okay, so this new preset list has it like it's been thought through of like, hey, these are presets you might you're more likely to use rather than examples of how to customize a brush. Uh, both, both, both. Like we're Me gonna check out all these new little things that I made. And yes. also, if we go to the brushes, there is a bunch of settings we can check out, but it's kind of useless for me to just show you that and be like, hmm, look at the cool things you can change now if you don't know how they work, so... Yeah, there's a whole new panel here. How does it work? There is! But you're not gonna see it yet, <laughs> because oh. I need to no, show you sad. something. So there's a brush called... Um, I forgot how they're called because they changed the name since what I gave them. Okay, so in the older Harmony, there was a ballpoint to mm -hmm. kind of try and imitate a big pen. You know, these amazing things. But it was not quite perfect because it still has ink. And you know, these ballpoint pencils, they never have ink in them at one point. So there's also a dry ballpoint. Like, look how much more realistic and sophisticated this one looks if I zoom on it and have actually nice quality in my drawings. Give me a second. Is that adjusting flow dependent on speed? Yes! That's what it's doing. Whoa. I know, right? Let me just let me just go to um, drawing, I, change vector. I know a number one. of people that have been craving that for a long time. I did. <laughs> so if I go very slowly, like, let me just make it super big and ugly. If I go slowly, it's thick, but if I go fast, like I didn't press more or less, I just went faster. Wow. Yay. And you can adjust just how thin it's capable of getting, depending on speed. Exactly. So now we can go to the panel that you wanted to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secret panel. <laughs> Did you see the new brush tip? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on. <laughs> I recognize that shape. I don't. What is this? I don't know what this is. So yeah, if you go to the settings, there is a bunch of new things, such as these little, well, big triangle. They open a new door of possibilities. Why, look at that. Oh uh, yeah, I see it. Pressure, tilt, speed, invert. So many possibilities. Yeah. Where do we begin? So, so we begin by maximum and minimum size. So the way that this brush is set, it's it's a ballpoint. So if you press hard or not, it's usually the same size of a tip because you know it's it's a little bead at the tip of a pen. Like it's not gonna get bigger or smaller. Well, there's gonna be little uh, size change. But if you go faster, the bead will get less ink in it. So mm. that's why it gets thinner. So that's what we try to replicate with that brush, Styro. So, that's why in there we didn't put the pressure, but there's only speed. That's the only the only thing that's gonna make the maximum and minimum size change is the speed. And Does that mean that invert means it will get thicker with speed? Exactly, because sometimes that's what Ooh. you want. Like if you work with a brush, sometimes if you go faster, you want to get more paint in your fast strokes. And if you're slow, you can just be very careful. And then if you go fast, you're gonna get lots of medium or whatever. So it's just insane. I'm in love with all of my new brushes in there. It's like, drawing in the other Harmony is fun, but it's, like, I, I just grew so attached to 21. Like, the brushes are just so great. No, it's, it's a testament to how, um, because, like, the drawing engine gets modified, like, every version. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's really cool. Like, going back and drawing in, it's something as recent as Harmony 16 feels weird now. It does. <laughs> it's, because it's, it, it's changed, like, every time, more or less, hasn't it? Yep. So, so now if you try to sketch, it feels so great to just have a brush that feels so much more like a a actual mm. medium that you would use when you draw. Like doing live drawing has been fun again in the software. Now I noticed that there is a texture to what you're doing here, yet in your vector brush properties it's still set to a hard circle. There isn't an actual texture selected, so what's up with that? That's because I have here my roundness and angle, 
I did. I ah. took the circle and I flattened it. Right. So it's not a texture per se. It's just flipping its shape around and it sort of simulates the texture almost. Yep. Which I guess is arguably faster. Uh, in a way, because maybe. And here there's a. That's because I have a random angle. Because if I didn't have random angle, it would just yeah. stay flat all the time. Which is also great if you're trying to do like calligraphy or whatever. So what happens on that? Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, on the other one, <laughs> the ballpoint one. What happens when we select that with the sub selection tool? I want to see how its vectors are constructed. This one? Just like uh, any vector. Yeah, well, on 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 the other one though. Oh, uh, these one. Well, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see if it goes around each individual. Okay, okay. So it does sort of figure out around the outer edges. Well, because it's bitmap, right? It's not vector. It bitmaps it. Yeah. Because like, I was curious, if it was because vector, like another brush insane. that I want to show you anyway. <laughs> if you take my amazing geometric FX brush, this one is vector. Okay. So. Whoa. Yeah, it changes that's depending funky. on the orientation you take with your pencil. That's interesting. The tilt. I remember like Wacom tablets have had like a tilt sensitivity feature for like 20 years, but I like very rarely see programs take advantage of it. Yeah, Photoshop and Harmony's been doing it for a while. But so now I'm using But this is but a... this is new for Harmony, no? No. That's not new. This tilt thingy? No. Oh, well. It's not oops. new. <laughs> but enough, there's something new about it. So now I'm using a regular pencil, a uh, regular Wacom stylus, so I can get tilt, but I cannot get rotate. And that is also mm. not new. It came out with 16, I think, or 17. Like, if you have a rotating Wacom pen, I have one. If I press and I rotate my pencil, my stroke is also going to rotate. So when I do effects, I always use that rotating pen because if I want to make, like, a lightning bolt, it's just great. Wow. Where it changed is now we have an angle function. So, depending on which one you take, uh, they all mean something, you can all go and check the documentation for it, but they're gonna change the way that the tilt affects your brush. So in the past it was just, is there a tilt or not? But now there's like more finesse into how it affects, and there's a twist that is still there if you will have a pen that supports it. So there's more tilt wow. option now, so that's super great. Yeah! Let's just want to start using Harmony just for regular illustrating at this point, hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what you were talking about. If you take a vector brush, now each of these will be a vector. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. So the ballpoint one, it I was expecting it to do that, um, but it no. turned it to a bitmap. Why is that? Because it's bitmap. Um, so yeah, yeah. To round it up, like this part, it's super great because whatever the brush that you take, you have the new angle functions that are amazing. You have this triangle here that I have in maximum size and minimum size that can allow you to affect the pressure, the tilt, the speed. And you can also add fake tapers. This is great if you're just doing something quick. Like if I remove the pressure, um, the taper is going to taper my line like this, but even if I don't have pressure, that's it. You see it? So now it's full, but when I release, it's going to taper it. Excellent. Yeah, that's really cool. It's really cool, especially for schools and people, hobbyists that might not have the best equipment, which that means you can draw with a mouse, you can draw with a very old tablet that perhaps doesn't have lots of uh, responsiveness. So that's, that's neat. It's just great so to have that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and is how much of this um, these properties are in the pencil as well? None. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's just really fun to play with. And that's great. It's it's also seeing great seeing how many um, presets are here as well. I know that I'm somebody who uh, doesn't spend too much time customizing personal brushes because <laughs> uh, I don't really know what I want, <laughs> and I end up just defaulting back to the uh, the original. So uh, seeing uh, this list of like there's. It's a really long list of presets now. And uh, the other thing that is great is, you know, this triangle that you can affect the maximum size with, with mm -hmm. them. You, you have that into transparency and you have that into uh, your opacity as well. So you can oh, even wow. affect like the maximum flow and depending on uh, all that stuff. So That's awesome. So affect, yeah, transparency by speed. So I'm just going to finish this by showing you my favorite brush. <laughs> it's the tilt shading one. Uh, it's the one I made because I'm very lazy, as you might know. No, I'm not lazy, I'm efficient. And I was looking for a brush that I was able to do my line work and my shading with, without having to change the brush. Mm -hmm. So, basically, Solution. I have um, uh, this here. So, depending on if my, uh, my pencil is straight with my tablet, like if this is my tablet screen and I'm drawing, if my stylus is more upright, my lines are going to be very 
thin. But if I tilt my my brush, my pencil, I'm gonna get just like if you took a lead pencil and you just kind of like put it on the side and drew on your paper. What you <laughs> yeah, <did>. yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So that's what I got. So that's my favorite brush. And now if I draw something like an onion, I can have the line work there. Never, never thought of trying to hold a stylus like that where. Like when you're using a lead pencil, it's like, kind of hold it upside down. Like your index finger towards the tip and your, um, sorry, like your pinky is like out, out the back. Yep. Um, I've never held a stylus like that before and had it work. I wonder if it would still function. <laughs> I'm going to give you little muscles. Yay. And then if I want to shake like it, I've I always want another brush. You can just like. All oh, right. Yeah. So that's not a new brush or any different settings. Yep. You're just holding it differently. Yeah, that's gonna make uh, rough passes really convenient. Yes. And yeah, so it's just so much fun to work with since it's the same brush. Yeah. Cool. All right. And there's more, but I mean, you'll discover that on your own if you want to try it out, peeps. Yeah, I think that's more than enough to um, explore with. I've got that confidence to give it a go. A little thing here. Um, don't be afraid to explore all of these because there is so much that I didn't show you yet. Um, is there a brush that you like to use whenever you work, Colin? Striped ribbon. That is, that's that's the go-to brush that everyone always. Wow, <laughs> automatically rotates. Yep. It's so good. It reminds me of those old um, Crayola texture sets. And it looks like a ribbon, but it's basically just dots. This is so impressive. So. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it's just dots. So if I just make one. Yeah, you drop the spacing down even. Yeah. Da, cool. da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, hang on. That that kind of brush would have always been possible, though, right? Uh, yes and no. It's because of the new angle function that they the follow, new angle function. Gotcha. Um, like uh, I, I'm pretty sure you can explore them on your own. And if uh, so, and heading is rotate depending on. I know. The direction yeah. You're in. Right, so okay. the ribbon one, they they put it there so that people can feel the angle function a bit more because it's a bit hard to get it with the other brush, but it's so easy to understand with this brush. So if I change from heading to, like, if I, if I put it to constant, you, you're going to see you got to do something different. Right away, yeah. You get that tapered effect. Yeah, and then you, head, you have the heading, which is uh, different because it's going to change towards where I'm heading. I don't know how it does that. It's kind of like mind games. <laughs> Magic. Whoa. What is happening there? Is it going backwards? <laughs> this is azimuth, and it's actually... Um, what is it doing? Is it rotating slowly over time? Like no, it's using... Then again, if I show you my ooh, my screen, if I'm holding my pen, um, the azimuth is the the relation between um, the eraser and the nib. Right. So, like, <laughs> the heading one is really, like, it's where your pen is heading and the tilt, and it's how your thing is... Uh, tilted, but the difference with the azimuth, it's, it's, I mean, it's math, but it's like the calculation of how the distance between the eraser and the nib or something, it's, it's math, I don't that's know. That's how but it's, it's, that's how it's calculated? Yeah, but, it's um, how, what, what's, what's the use case for that? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, some people yeah, that want to get maybe more random in their things are going to be happy to have that. Um, yeah, yeah, true, true. I don't know. It's something Man, we need to test out. <laughs> we've been at this for ages, we've only covered two features between us so far. We've I still got to do... Rigid transform, motion capture tweens. Um, there's a few other big ones that I can't remember, and then there's all of the, like the small quality of life stuff. Hey. Yeah, but let's be honest. These were the pretty two big features, like drawing tools and and um this. They're the flagship ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like I like to say uh, that Harmony Twenty was a release that made everything like every small little thing easier. Like just how did you say it last time? Like ease of life, I think. Quality of life. Thank you. But Harmony 21 is like everything we've wished for <laughs> for years. It's just there. Yeah, it's awesome. Because uh, like, I actually felt that way about Harmony 20 as well. But I guess it was like quality of life in a way because it is like things like point kinematic output. It's like, oh, what if we, you know, if only kinematic output could do this. Here you go. Um, and then the way to deform sort of tied a lot of the different movement systems together, being able to get, you know, pegs and deformers and constraints to sort of like start to gel in a harmonious environment was really nice. Totally. Um, but yeah, the last few releases have all been massive. It's amazing. Um, and, um, okay. 
should we um pause there? And... No, because I want to show my favorite thing. Look, when oh, okay. I appeared in your drawing, there's this thing. Extended spray. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go over those ones as like a uh, extra so little great. bit of like. <laughs> Here's all the tiny things that are uh, easily missed, but are like super nice if you're a long time user. Now we can't kill um. the video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try 